Hey, so do you have a Facebook group? Maybe you had one and it died a slow, painful death. Or maybe you've thought about a group, but you don't know the difference between a page or a group. And as a coach or a course creator, how can you leverage a Facebook group into customers? That's what we're going to be talking about in today's episode. Hey, messengers, welcome to the Market Your Message show. I'm your host, Jonathan Milligan, and author of the book, Your Message Matters, How to Rise Above the Noise and Get Paid for What You Know. Now, today's topic, I'm going to talk about why it's important that you go build a social pond. Now, if you've never heard of that term, it's something I've made up. I talk about it in my book, but I want to walk you through this today, exactly what that means. Uh, and I like to use an analogy of fishing. Let's say you have a pond. I have a pond in my backyard. And uh, let's say that that pond had no fish in it. That would represent, for most of us, the way we get started online, right? We create a blog or we have a podcast. Maybe we have a YouTube channel and it's crickets. No one is showing up. So how do we get noticed? How do we get people to pay attention to us? Well, one really smart strategy is to go where your audience is already hanging out. Now, for 90% of you that are tuning in, that's going to be Facebook. Facebook is the place that many of you should consider building a community. And the best way to do that is by building a Facebook group. But here's the deal. People don't necessarily go to Facebook thinking they want to buy something right? We go to Amazon, we're searching. Yes, we're trying to buy something. Facebook, it's different. It's a social platform. So you can't make your Facebook group just post after post about buying your thing. It's not going to work. But what does? That's what we're going to be talking about today. In fact, here's what you're going to discover in this episode. Why you should use the social pond strategy in your business. Why in most cases, you should not sell directly in your group but what you should do instead, how to build your email list when people join your Facebook group, and much, much more. So before we get into this topic and really dive in, I want to make sure you know about how do you get started with this journey. Maybe you're just getting started, or maybe you've been blogging for a while, podcasting for a while, or even doing YouTube videos, but you don't know how to turn your passion into a platform. The best place to start is with my new book called Your Message Matters, How to Rise Above the Noise and Get Paid for What You Know. I've been doing this full-time online since 2011, and I took my 10 years of experience and packed them into this 260-page book, everything laid out step-by-step. Step. And you, my friend, can get a free copy for a limited time. I bought a couple thousand copies from my publisher, and I want to ship it to you, to your door for free. You just have to pay for the shipping and handling. So go to yourmessagemattersbook.com and get that book, get your business going and get it started. Okay, so let's jump into this topic of a Facebook group. If you're a coach, meaning you want to sell uh, coaching packages, one-on-one -on -one group coaching. Let's say you're a course creator and you have an online course and you want to sell your online course. Or if you are a speaker and you would love to do and host your own one-day uh, virtual workshop, or you want to do maybe a four-week boot camp, all of those scenarios work perfectly inside of a social pond strategy, meaning a Facebook group. So what I'm going to do, if you're listening to the podcast, I will describe it. But if you want to lick or click on the link in the description, you can actually go over to YouTube and see me map this out on my iPad. But I'm going to describe it for you as best as I can. So I'm in my iPad. And so the first thing that I'm going to draw out is the Facebook group. So this is where we're going to start. It is free for you to go start a Facebook group, and there's different types of Facebook groups. There is an unlisted Facebook group, 
And that one is kind of like a private one. What, what that means is if you wanted to have a Facebook group that was just your immediate family, maybe your family is spread out and they all don't live in a local location, you could have a private or unlisted Facebook group. And that would mean nobody can find it. They can't search for it and they can't request to join it. It's only by invite only. We don't want that as a coach or course creator. Now, Another level is called a public open Facebook group. We don't want that either. And the reason why we don't want it open is because anybody can click on it and join. And that results in a lot of spam, lots of people you don't want in your group. And you can't, quite frankly, ask questions to collect things like an email address. So what we want to do is we want to go the middle of the road and we want this to be a private Facebook group. Now, being private, somebody has to hit the button to request to join. When they request to join, you can ask up to three questions. And one of those questions should be uh, asking for their email address. Now, you can't just say, what's your email address? If you want to get something if you want to get the most email addresses you can inside your Facebook group, then what you need to do is, is give something in exchange. Like, uh, I have this free checklist PDF, leave your email address and I will send it to you. Maybe it's related to your topic, whatever it is. All right. And that's the way that you can actually collect email addresses and build your list in the process. But we want to do more than that with a private Facebook group. We want to figure out how can we build community, build a topic, and build a potential offer to sell, okay? Now, I might do another episode on how to get people into your Facebook group, but that's kind of beyond the scope today. I want to assume that you have at least 300 members. 300 members is a good thing to shoot for in about 30 days. Uh, some people can get there faster. Some may take a little bit longer, but 300 kind of represents a statistical significant, a number of people in a group around a passion so that we can then create a, an event buzz or buzz around an event to get enough people excited that they may purchase from us. All right. So that's where we want to start. And there's lots of ways you can do that. We'll do a separate episode, but let's assume today that you've got at least 300 people into a Facebook group around a shared uh, topic, right? So the next thing we want to do is we want to do something that is a live event. And really we're looking at three or five days. And so you might promote this for a couple of weeks, letting people know, hey guys, in this Facebook group, I'm going to do a three-day live workshop, or I'm going to host a three-day live challenge right here in this Facebook group. It's completely free. Here's when it's going to happen. Here are the dates. It's going to be every day at 3 p.m. Eastern. Tune in. Now, what I love about this is you may be wondering right now, but Jonathan, I don't know how to do all the live streaming equipment and the cool graphics or how to show my iPad. You don't have to do any of those things. In fact, uh, I think it's important to note that we sometimes let technology get in the way. Isn't that what happens? Doesn't that frustrate you a little bit to be like, I have this message to share, but it's like technology and marketing are the two things standing in my way from just a human to human connection. That's the beautiful thing about a Facebook group is it's free to do. You are gathering people into a social pond where they're already hanging out. You're much more likely to pull them into your world if they're scrolling on their own Facebook news feed, right? As opposed to pulling them to your website. And then here's the beautiful thing. If you have a mobile phone, you can go live into your Facebook group. That's all you need. All you need is a mobile phone. The technology is simple. If you've ever FaceTimed anyone, and a lot of us have, it's the same. It's just going live, sharing your passion, 
And then on day three or day five, you say, hey, if you've enjoyed a little bit of learning around this topic, I'm going to host a one-day workshop next Saturday. It's going to be for four hours on Zoom, and we would love to have you. The cost is $27, $97, whatever price point you feel like. So let me kind of map this out a little bit more on the iPad. So there's two offers that I absolutely love to do at the end of a three or five day workshop or challenge. The first one is a one day, kind of more of a deep dive paid workshop. Now what's awesome about this is you can do this on Zoom. Listen, I know there's not a whole lot of positives that have been coming out uh, of the, the last couple of years with this pandemic that we've been going through, right? But here's the thing. Everybody knows how to use Zoom now. Everybody, every age group, everybody's used to it. Everybody's used Zoom in some capacity. I've got family members who don't even have Facebook accounts, and yet they know how to jump on Zoom. Zoom is universal. And so you can utilize Zoom. If you've ever been on Zoom, that's all you need to host your workshop. And so if people pay you $27 or $95 to attend your one day workshop, you give them a link to your Zoom where you're going to go teach them for two to four hours. The other one I like, if you want to go a little bit more higher cost, is a four week boot camp. Now, for this one, we are also going to use Zoom. You can also use Zoom for this boot camp. And let's say you decide to do one hour every Saturday from noon to one for four straight weeks. And in that case, you can charge closer to $197 to $497 or $500 um, in that scenario. Okay, it's that simple. Now, here's what's awesome about this strategy. Okay, I'm going to give you a little bit of bonus tips here. What's awesome about this strategy is there's two ways that you can turbocharge this whole system. The first way is to run this live event. Let's say it's a three-day challenge. Run it four to six times a year. So a week boot camp. So You run your challenge, you invite people into your boot camp, you get, let's say, five people into your boot camp, you work with them for four weeks, you got two weeks off, and then you announce to your group again, I'm going to do the challenge. And you run the same challenge, run the same challenge four four times a year. And the reason why is you're going to have new members join, you're going to have people who uh, weren't ready to buy last time, and now they're ready to get into your workshop. This system works. Now, there's one other bonus strategy that you can do during those six weeks to turn people into coaching clients. We'll probably do a separate episode on this, but this is where you use a simple post strategy that you do one one to two times a week with the goal of pulling people into a messenger conversation. So what you could do is you could post and say, hey, I've got a PDF that shows you how to do X. If you're interested in this PDF, comment below in the Facebook comments, put the word PDF, and I will shoot you the link on Messenger. So then let's say you have 10 or 15 people from your Facebook group actually put PDF in the comments because they're interested in the lead magnet you have. Then you can go over into Messenger send them a link to the freebie and start having a conversation with them. Now, this doesn't have to be a super sales conversation. It could be start with as simple as like, hey, what are you struggling with right now? Hey, what's the biggest challenge for you? Start having that conversation and to the point where you're like, you know what, would you be willing or would you be open to jumping on the phone and talking more about this? And then that phone conversation could lead to a one-on-one client for coaching, it could lead to adding them to your group coaching program. That's how this strategy works. 
So I'm curious, what do you think? Is this a cool strategy? Do you like this strategy? Let me know. It's very simple. We want to go create a social pond where the fish are all ready to bite. We want to serve that community. We want to create some kind of a buzz around an event that we can use our phone in a free Facebook group. Then we can pivot to making an offer, a very simple offer to buy our workshop or our boot camp, work with those people, and then repeat that four to six times a year. Now, I don't know about you, but that process is so much simpler than saying, go podcast for two years and hopefully you'll have a thousand people on an email list, blog for two years, uh, just go do, you know, a, a YouTube video every week for the next three years. And again, I'm a huge fan of producing content. I'm doing it right now. But you know what I found? It's much more effective to produce content for people who are already in your world. In other words, to nurture people because as, as you nurture people who are in your group or on your email list, they become more likely ready to buy from you. The secondary benefit is the extended organic reach, the new people who come into your world that find out about you. So I think those strategies are really, really important that you understand them. So there you go. This is how you can compress the path to success. Go find where your people are hanging out, produce free, valuable content to them, give them an opportunity for a paid solution where they can go deeper with you and do that four to six times a year. You can do that, again, with a free group, Facebook group, and, a, and your phone. It's that simple. All right, I want to know, if you enjoyed that episode, let me know. We would love it if you would take time to rate us, review us, uh, give us a comment. Let us know if you're enjoying this. Subscribe if you're watching over on the YouTube channel. And also, if you haven't grabbed your free book yet, or you say, Jonathan, I love these strategies. I want more of this. It's all in the book. So go to yourmessagemattersbook.com, and that's where you can get your free copy. All right, everybody, that's it for this episode. Again, if... Uh, you are struggling. If you're having difficulty, start with where people are already hanging out. Serve them well. Give them an opportunity to respond, to go deeper with you. All right. Until next time, never forget, your message matters.